Hey everyone, and welcome to the video guide for purchasing 1979 Revolution Black Friday. Today we're going to be taking you through a couple quick easy steps to get you from purchasing all the way up to playing the game. First we're going to start by going to inkstories.com backslash 1979 revolution game. Once there, at the top of the page, you're going to notice we have three different options for buying the game. The big buy now link, the GOG.com, and the Steam option as well. We're going to start by looking at the buy now link. Once the pop-up opens, go ahead and fill out your email and anything else, whether it be a gift or a tip. Once that's filled out, you have two options to either pay with card or check out with PayPal. If you choose to pay with your card, you will be prompted to fill out some information and upon completion, the key will be sent to your email. Now that you have a key, the next step will be to download the Steam client. To download the Steam client, we're going to start by going to Steam's page by typing in your URL box, store.steampowered.com. Once you're on that page, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see in small text the word login. Go ahead and click that. Once you're on that page, you'll have the option to either sign in or join Steam. If you already have a Steam account, you can go ahead and sign in here and skip ahead. Otherwise, go ahead and click the Join Steam button. Here you'll be brought to the Create an Account page. Go ahead and fill out all the information. Steam will confirm that your name is available and you'll set a password. Enter the same email that you use to redeem the key. And then at the bottom, check the agree to the terms and conditions. And when you're all finished with everything, go ahead and hit the create account button. Once you've clicked that button, you will have successfully created your account and be brought back to the Steam home page. At the top of the page, you'll notice the install Steam button. Go ahead and click that. Again, you'll see a bigger version of that install Steam button that says install Steam now. Uh, go ahead to click that to start the download. Once it is finished downloading, you can go ahead and click on it to start the .exe. This is going to open the Steam setup. You can go ahead and hit next on that first page. The next page is going to be the language page. Go ahead and choose your preferred language and then hit next. The following page is going to be where you choose to install the program. Uh, it should default to your programs folder and that is fine. Go ahead and click install. From there the download will begin and shouldn't take too long. Once that's finished, you will be told that the process has completed and there will be a checkbox that says run Steam. Uh, if that is not clicked, go ahead and click that now and then once you've done that, hit finish. The next and final step will be redeeming your key through the Steam application. If you chose to run Steam upon finishing the installation, uh, you should already have Steam up. If you did not choose to run Steam, you can find the icon on your desktop. Go ahead and click that to open the program. Upon starting Steam, it may run some updates at the beginning, that is perfectly normal. Once any updates are finished installing, the Steam login will pop up. From here, go ahead and enter the account name and password you created in step 2. Once you've successfully logged into Steam, in the bottom left hand of the window, you will see a plus sign with the words add a game. Go ahead and click on that. That will open a pop-up with a couple options. Go ahead and click on the middle option to activate a product on Steam. This is going to open a product activation window that prompts you to register your product with Steam. Go ahead and click next. You will then see the product activation screen uh, asking for a product code. By now you should have received your email with your product key. Go ahead and log into your email and grab that key. Once you have that key copied, you can go ahead and paste it into the window here and click next. After doing so, you will see a confirmation screen. You'll be able to print your receipt from there. Uh, if you're done with that, you can go ahead and click next. The prompt will then ask you if you want to create a desktop shortcut or create a start menu shortcut. Uh, that is totally up to you. I recommend doing both. Uh, once you've made your decision, you can go ahead and click next again. 
Once you've done that, it will confirm the download and begin downloading in the background. You can go ahead and click finish. 1979 Revolution Black Friday should pop up in the upper left hand corner of your screen. You should see a percentage and a amount of megabytes or kilobytes for the upload speed and progress of your download. Once it has finished downloading and reached 100%, uh, you will be able to click the blue play button in the middle of the screen to launch the game. With the game up and running, you'll be taken through our first couple of screens and you will land on our video settings page. Here, the game will have already chosen your highest resolution setting possible. You can change any settings in this menu now or at any time. Uh, they are currently set to what we recommend. Once you're happy with those settings, you can go ahead and click the back diamond in the lower right hand corner. From here, you'll be taken to the rest of the settings. You can either adjust these or hit the back button in the lower right hand corner once more. And to begin the game, go ahead and click on the play button. You should only be seeing chapter one on your game right now. By clicking play once more, you will officially start the beginning of the game. I hope you enjoy the game, and if you have any questions about any of this process at all, uh, please contact us, rather in the comments or our email. Have fun, and welcome to the revolution.